Hey guys, it's Mod Steve here. Today I've got a basic tutorial to go through the starter uh, new player basics of what to do and what not to do. Uh, we had questions about uh, HBM farming. A lot of new players don't quite know and grasp that. When you get strong enough, there's a little portal right here. This little portal right here, that's where you find these two options. On the left, you've got what looks like the Thunder God. That is the Hero Trials. With this, you get a swarm of one specific randomly generated hero coming after you. And you normally get some HB as a reward. Here is a basic idea of what that looks like. You got a succubus, and this is on level four. See, there's three of them. Excuse me, three of them there, six of them there, and another three of them there. And every level, level L4, L5, L6, you get more quantity of them coming and stronger levels. And they'll come through, head into your base. You slowly wipe them out, and then you get your small reward for it. And the rewards are all randomly generated. There is a chance for legendary hero cards. I myself have gotten Succubus off of L4 Succubus as a, a hero award, which was really nice and irony that it came from the Succubus. So there is a small HP reward for that. Also, right here on the right, is what looks like a dragon. That is Here Be Monsters. Now this takes too long for me to do the video of it right now, but I will start it to show you. You've got the different levels, A, B, C, D, E, and continuing along. And after you pass one level, it opens up the next. And after you pass B, it opens up C. And then challenge two opens up, and you see right here, I'm stuck right there. It's showing right now my best is R3. <clears throat> so, we come back to challenge one. This is just to give you an idea of how it looks like. We'll open up wave B. And you see a couple of tree ants show up there and a couple of heroes show up here in this corner. Just like the hero trial, the succubus. Uh, they'll come through, break down the buildings. There's five different waves on every HBM. B1, B2, B3, B4, and B5. Each wave has stronger heroes. And B, uh, B5, just like every fifth level on every Here Be Monsters, has a dinosaur that comes out. He is big, he's strong, he's hard to beat. Uh, eventually he makes you want to commit suicide. I swear at some point you'll throw your phone across the room, probably smash against a wall. I've done it at least three times myself. Uh, once you get up to HBMO, uh, it switches from the dino to a guild boss. Uh, we can get to that later on. I've got other videos to show you for that later on. This is just an idea of what's going on for that. So we'll go ahead and end this. You guys have the idea with that. We'll continue the video and tutorial. You go through that. HBM is the most important game mode you have. That's where you get all of your experience to level up your heroes. That's where you get the... I'm going to come into my heroes altar to show you. That's where you get the shards right there. The shards right there. That 267 right there that you see. That's where you get the most of the shards that you get, which buys these little slimes, which increases your hero's skill level. So the HBM is where you get most of your shards, which in turn increases this level, which is the most important aspect of the game. And it also gives you the experience that levels up your hero's level like this. HBM, you can't stress enough how important it is to keep that run. Also, right here, right there, there's a little signboard right there. That is your 
quest board. Some people call it trial board. If you go through and do all of these tasks, uh, the higher the might that you are, the more different tasks that open up. Uh, higher might gives more quantities of tasks. I think this one, this final quest opens up, I think, 45,000 might. 35,000? I can't remember exactly. It's been a while. But, uh... All these different quests. Ooh, refresh a hero talent! Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> That's a good time. I'm a happy guy. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right away. I'll give you the example of what you do on a refresh a hero talent. It does cost... I'm gonna go ahead and back up. I'm gonna go ahead and explain this. Get ahead of myself. It does cost 300 gems. 300. As you notice, right up here, I keep myself at or above 300. If you get below 300, you cannot do this. And it sucks. It sucks. This is free, 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 free hero talent change. Super important. Always keep yourself at 300 gems or above because it sucks bad when you can't do this quest. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and come in to work on changing this. There's a little change button right here. You change. You're going to press this button down here that says re-roll for 300 gems. And I have 300 gems. We are going to do that. And it's a 1 out of 5 scatter. Oh, that is so crappy. Oh, that sucks. Useless. We do not press the replace button. <laughs> because it is worse than the talent that I currently have. If we do absolutely nothing, back out, forget. It'll sit there until the next hero that we look at. If we want to replace, we can. We will not use a 1 out of 5 scatter on any hero. So... That gets saved until the next time that we press the re-roll button. So that'll just sit there unused. So, that is your hero trial. Or your, your quest board. When you come in here, down at the bottom, if we do one, two, three out of the ten quests, we get 4,000 HP. Right here, we would get blue books. Right here, we would get purple books. These rewards change according to your might um when you first start out you, i think you have one two three quests open and then only two rewards something along those lines but these quests you get hp out of it and you get books those books are used to level up your heroes it is very very helpful try to always do that it takes eight hours for it to reflect refresh after you finish your trial board so in theory, you can do three a day. Three times eight is 24. It is possible. Not very likely. More than likely, you'll just do two a day. Okay. Next game mode that we've got is right up here. Right up here. This little portal here. That is Mesa. Mesa and Wretched Gorge. I don't do Wretched Gorge much, but it's a new game mode. Uh, I'm going to come into Mesa 1, give you a really quick show, showing what this looks like. This is just Mesa 1. I have got very strong heroes. This will not take long at all. On Mesa, when we're doing Mesa... Uh, you get you get really good rewards from it, and you get merits. And the merits go to being able to buy stuff out of the warehouse. I will show you the warehouse in just a moment, as soon as I finish with this Mesa run, which should only take about another 30 seconds. Sorry, this video is taking so long, but I'm trying to hit all of the basics to show new members exactly what we're doing. Okay, 
So it looks like I got a blue chest. And I'll go ahead and show you exactly what I got. We'll come down to the warehouse. Warehouse. Enter. I have gotten a blue chest. We're going to open that up. And it gives us blue books and an elite hero card. And 100 merits. Those 100 merits come in really handy because we can go to the warehouse and trade merits for important stuff like more books or dungeon entry cards where we can go to the go into the dungeons a little bit more often or we can even buy crests crests are super helpful very very important we use crests when we go into the lost realm at this open this game mode will open up when you reach 10,000 might Right here, you get all kinds of blue crystals, which goes to inscribing your heroes. Inscribing is also very important. It will help boost your might, and it will make your hero stronger. I will go ahead and pull up again my Pumpkin Duke, and we will look. He is inscribed to level 82. You see down here, it's showing that the next level costs 144,000 blue crystals. So as you collect it, it might seem like you're getting a lot when you first start out, but it gets to be really expensive the farther on you go. Crests. I have got, while I was explaining a previous video, I've got all my crests on my lower level 100 heroes. Like this. I thought. Maybe I took them off. Well, here's one of my Pumpkin Duke for the example. When you get all the crests, see right here, it shows eight of that crest. I can use red crystals to combine a level one into a level two crest. Um, you've got right here, I've made a level three crest 1, a level 3 crest 2, a level 3 crest 3, and a level 3 crest 4. This basically equates to having a second talent. This right here deflects 14% damage taken on my Pumpkin Duke to go along with the Stone Skin, which reduces 25%. Now that does not add in together to make 34%. That reduces 25% of damage taken, and this also reduces 14% of damage taken. So if I take in 10,000 total damage, this reduces 25% uh, of that, and this reduces 14% of that. So that's 1,000... 200 and this is plus adding in the maybe uh, 2500 that the other one takes off so it's roughly 3000 total they do not add in together it's not 14 plus 25 it is the total taken plus the total taken that is how that works if you have got oh I don't know if I have one I don't know if I have one <laughs> mm. Okay, I was trying to think of an example. I don't think I have one of the heroes handy that has it. No, I do not have one handy. Okay, if you've got a hero like Santa Boom, a level 5 self-destruct built in, he automatically has that. You do not want a talent like self-destruct on him because his 5 out of 5 self-destruct cancels out this completely, which makes it absolutely useless. Try you guys to avoid that. <clears throat> okay, I think that covers all of our basic game modes and starter ideas for getting you started in the game and the different game modes. 
I hope this helps, and if there's any other questions, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, leave me messages. Uh, I am also moderator of Link Communities 1, 2, and 3. Download links, stop by, say hi, uh, leave us messages there. I try, <clears throat> I try to be, be able to do special request videos. If there's something that you're not sure on, ask me. I can help out on most things. I can give videos or you know, screenshots or whatever. I love to help people out. All right. Thanks for stopping, guys. Mod Steve out.